Australia is abuzz with outrage as an online petition calling for a public apology from breakdancer Rachel Gunn and Olympic boss Anna Mears has garnered over 15,000 signatures. What began as an embarrassing Olympic performance has now spiraled into a national controversy, with Australians demanding accountability and transparency over gun selection to represent the country in Paris. But what led to this public outcry, and what could be the consequences for those involved? Let's dive into this explosive story that has the nation divided. Rachel Gunn, better known by her stage name Ray Gunn, became a lightning rod for criticism following her performance at the Paris Olympics. The 36-year-old breakdancer, who was once celebrated as a co-hero by her Olympic teammates, is now at the center of a storm that's sweeping across Australia. Despite the cheers she received during an impromptu breaking session at the closing ceremony, the reception back home has been anything but warm. As Gunn chose to remain in Europe rather than return to Australia with the rest of the Olympic team, a petition was launched on August 12th, calling for an apology and investigation into her controversial selection. The petition, which has rapidly gained traction, accuses Gunn of manipulating the selection process, sparking a debate that has polarized the nation. The petition against Gunn and Anna Mears, Australia's chef de mission for the Paris Olympics, alleges serious misconduct in the way Gunn was chosen to represent Australia in breakdancing. According to the petition, Gunn supposedly manipulated the selection process to secure her spot over more talented female breakers. These allegations have raised significant concerns about the fairness and integrity of the selection procedure. The petition doesn't stop at calling for a public apology. It also demands a full investigation into the selection process and an audit of Gunn's business dealings, casting a shadow over what was supposed to be a moment of national pride. Gunn's performance in Paris, which quickly went viral for all the wrong reasons, has been the subject of widespread criticism. Aussies have taken to social media to express their dissatisfaction, accusing her of undermining the efforts of genuine athletes. In contrast, Anna Mears has come to Gunn's defense, attributing the backlash to sexism and describing Gunn as Australia's best female breakdancer. This defense, however, has only fueled the flames of public outrage. Many Australians see Mears' statement as a deflection, with one commenter on X, formerly Twitter, calling it a total cop-out. The debate has since transcended Gunn's performance, touching on broader issues of fairness, transparency, and accountability in Australian sports. Amidst this controversy, there are voices questioning the legitimacy of the petition's claims. Critics have pointed out the lack of concrete evidence to back up the allegations against Gunn and Mears, arguing that the petition was fueled by misinformation. One ex-user cautioned against taking the petition's claims at face value, highlighting the absence of links to supporting articles or statements from those involved. Despite these doubts, the petition continues to gain support, reflecting a deep-seated dissatisfaction with how the situation has been handled. Interestingly, while Gunn's reputation may have taken a hit in Australia, her newfound fame is opening doors internationally. Marketing expert Max Markson believes that Gunn's global recognition could translate into lucrative deals, even if Australian brands are hesitant to associate with her. Markson suggests that international companies, particularly in sports, food, and technology sectors, could see Gunn as a valuable asset, regardless of the controversy surrounding her back home. This potential for international success adds another layer of complexity to an already contentious situation. The controversy surrounding Rachel Gunn and Anna Mears is far from over, and the public's demand for accountability shows no signs of waning. As the petition continues to gather signatures, the pressure mounts on those involved to address the allegations and provide clarity on the selection process. Whether or not Gunn and Mears will issue the public apology that so many Australians are demanding remains to be seen. What is clear, however, is that this incident has sparked a broader conversation about fairness, transparency, and the responsibilities of those who represent the nation on the world stage. What do you think about the situation? Should Gunn and Mears apologize, or is the backlash unwarranted? Let us know in the comments below, 
And if you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on this unfolding story. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.